constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the March sky. Jupiter and Venus approach each other in the sky during the beginning of the month, engaging in an apparent close encounter during mid-month. In reality, the planets remain very far apart, but because they currently lie in the same direction from Earth, they appear close together. The two planets part ways later in the month as Jupiter dips into the horizon and Venus climbs higher each night. Mars rises in the east by nightfall. The red planet will reach opposition early in the month, meaning it will be at its closest to Earth and visible all night long. This is the best time to view Mars all year. Saturn follows Mars later in the evening. It too will be up for the rest of the night, climbing high into the southern sky. As the brilliant stars of winter progress toward the west, the constellations of spring make their appearance. Two March constellations, derived from Greek mythology, Gemini and Cancer, lie in the zodiac. The zodiac is the name for the band of sky through which the sun, moon, and planets appear to travel. The Gemini twins lie high overhead. They were among Jason's Argonauts, who sailed the seas searching for the Golden Fleece. The two bright stars are the heads of the brothers Castor and Pollux. A fuzzy patch lies near the feet of the Gemini twins. Called M35, it is a pretty cluster of several hundred stars. Cancer is often identified as a crab, but has also been seen as a lobster, or crayfish. In Greek mythology, Cancer was placed in the heavens by Hera, wife of Zeus, to immortalize its tenacious but futile battle with Hercules. It is a much dimmer constellation than Gemini and hard to see in light polluted skies. Within Cancer lies the lovely beehive cluster. Ancient stargazers called it the Cloudy Star. This large cluster contains hundreds of stars and lies about 577 light years away from us. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard.